Okay, guys, we're back with hopefully the final episode of Arkham Asylum. We have a couple more trophies that we have to get in the mansion as well as in the botanical gardens. The first one is right here at the entrance, at least the ones that I missed. This might be an extra long part because, you know, I'm trying to get the regular trophies before I face the Joker. So I'll see you when I find the next one. Okay. So the next trophy is just hidden behind the scriptographic sequencer. Which again, we can't access until we rescue the warden. Oh, there's an interview tape. I didn't even see that. I thought it was a trophy. Okay. I'm just gonna let this play out because I think the scarecrows are really interesting in Batman villain. That and his interview tapes are pretty creepy. What is it about fear that drives your obsession? Fear drives everything, Stephen. Everything. Your life is governed by fear. Every decision you make is a product of that fear. Don't be ridiculous. You married your wife. Margaret is weak. Because you were scared of dying alone. You have children. Like, it's so weird, because he, he twists everything that people will find natural about their lives into something that they should be afraid of. Glad to see you guys made it out. Alright, on to the next riddle. Okay, funny enough, one of those trophies is actually located right around here. I think it's supposed to be up here where the bell originally was. Aha, another chronicle. I can't believe I missed this one. As I enter the cell. He watched as I entered the cell. As I showed him the knife. I told him how I will use it. How I will cleanse this city. And then, terror. I was paralyzed. I struggled. I screamed. But I was silent. The monster looked at me. Expression. He ran my blade slowly across my forehead. The smile cracked across his horrible porcelain face. And I heard the filth fall from his mouth. He laughed and called me that horrible name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess who he's talking about. Another one. On to the next. Alright. Next one is hidden behind this wall. Jesus Christ. Okay, where the hell is this one? It's not on the ground. Nowhere I can grapple up to. Give me a second. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I didn't realize this was supposed to be a riddle and not a roller trophy. This is what they're referring to. Professor Hugo Strain. Okay. This event right here should lead me to this trophy on this side. Since there's no way to get in from the actual door, or from the actual wall, I should say. Yep, okay. 
Okay, that's the final interview tape. Yoink. And unfortunately, now Scarecrow is taking over the interview tapes. <laughs> okay. And that's the last of the ones in the mansion. Okay. Only five more. Let's go to go to Can't talk. Let's go to the botanical gardens and finish all the rest of these off. Somehow I missed this interview tape when I first came to the generator room. Okay, Ivy's just deranged. But I think we all knew that. Alright, on to this. Okay, we're back in the worst room in this game, at least according to me. And one trophy's over here. I had to maneuver my way up here just so I can get the right angle to actually use the back claw. Like, this room alone has at least like six different trophies slash riddles. Hey, look at that! That was the last riddle we needed! Alright. I've been looking forward to this. It must have been crazy. Another one who doesn't deserve to live. Why do these people thrive on chaos? Joker, in particular, desires anarchy. And since his escape will no doubt bring uh, my city. Amadeus died like over a hundred years ago. How would he know who Scarecrow or the Joker are? This just got very creepy. Okay, and these last two should just be Chronicles. There is no closet in the garden, so someone is using the roof instead. Did I get this one before? Okay. That was the man bat riddle, right? Oh, killer moth, right. Okay, and I do remember where this one is. And there's the last chronicle. Well, 
Second to last. What? You did it? You must have cheated. There is no way you could have beaten me. Well, you asked for it, Batman. My final challenge for the whole of Gotham is just seconds away. What? Sirens. The police. <laughs> I love that he doesn't even call, like, Robin or Nightwing to deal with him. He just calls the cops. I love that line where you... No! He sounds so pathetic. Okay, now what did that last Chronicle have to say before I was rudely interrupted by Eddie? I am the spirit of Amadeus Arthur. Even though Amadeus had long since passed, his spirit lived on, surviving, moving through the walls of his asylum. When it chose me, I felt proud. I was honored to continue his work. To cleanse this city. If you are strong-willed enough to follow my tales, you are strong-minded enough to deduce my identity. Come and find me, friend. Together, we will save Gotham. Yeah, the further you go into the tapes, the more you realize that this voice is eerily familiar to another character that we've met in the very beginning of the game. So, let's go check in on that guy and see what he's up to now that we've gotten all these chronicles. Alright. Thanks to my fine detective skills and the fact that I have beaten in this game before and 100%ed it on the 360, I know exactly who this person is. Crap. I went down the wrong room. Hang on. Okay. Now we're heading in the right direction. Man, this door's taking extra on let me in. Uh, where'd the warden go? Didn't I leave him in this room earlier? Well, shit. My name is Quincy Sharp, the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. You have done well to decipher my story, and I pray it has helped you on your path. I trust that through my writings, you will do what is right. Please, I implore you, continue my work. This city deserves a savior. Continue my work. So, of course, another warden of an insane asylum is insane. Great. And believe it or not, this is actually followed up on in Arkham City. And explains why Sharp thinks he's Amadeus' reincarnation, I guess. But... I originally intended to do all of this in one video, but this went on a bit longer than I expected it to. So I'm just going to make this video its own part, and then the next video will actually be the finale. So we got to take out the Riddler, and we get to figure out what all the Chronicles were about. So I think it was a worthwhile part. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the finale of Batman Arkham Asylum. Peace.